Self Assessment Model Paper 2 2024 to 25 English Question 1 to 3 Read the following passage carefully GA 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 he cried begging her to bring him some food GA the blue colonel ah she screamed back derisively but he kept calling plaintively, and after a minute or so he uttered a joyful scream. His mother had picked up a piece of the fish and was flying across to him with it. Two stories about flying his first flight. From two stories about flying his first flight. 1. Why was the young seagull crying? G.A. GA GA Answer The young seagull was crying because he was hungry and begging his mother for food. 2. How did the young seagull react when he saw his mother flying towards him? Answer The young seagull uttered a joyful scream when he saw his mother flying towards him. 3. What was in the mother seagull's beak when she stopped in front of the young seagull? Answer. B. A piece of fish. Question 4 to 5. Read the following stanza carefully. Stop that sulking at once, Amanda. You're always so moody, Amanda. Anyone would think that I nagged at you, Amanda. Now, answer the following questions. Amanda 4. How is Amanda described in the stanza? Answer. Amanda is described as moody and sulking. 5. What tone does the speaker use while talking to Amanda? A. Gentle and kind. B. Calm and polite. C. Irritated and commanding. Answer. C. Irritated and commanding. Section B. Grammar and vocabulary. Edit the following passage correcting the underlined parts. Reading not only enhances vocabulary but a also improves communication skills. It helps students to express b themselves more effectively and articulately in writing and c speaking. Moreover, reading habitually instills d discipline, patience, and time management skills. 7. Change the following sentence into passive voice. The voice from the radio answered me immediately. Answer. I was immediately answered by the voice from the radio. 8. Your friend is suffering from a viral fever. He has been absent to school for five days and missed his lessons. Give him advice to consult a physician without delay. Answer. You should consult a physician without delay to get proper treatment. 9. Find the wrongly spelt word and write the correct spelling. Immediately, compose, degrees, Mountains. Answer. Wrongly spelt word, compass. Correct spelling, scompass. 10. Use the following expressions in sentences of your own. Phrasal verb, hand in. Answer. Please hand in your homework before the deadline. Idiomatic expression. Can't bring myself to. Answer. I can't bring myself to watch that horror movie. It's too scary for me. 11. Match the following. 
kept back not promoted make up for compensate get along with have a good relationship with fly the co-op escape from a place section c creative expression 5 marks 12 in the story the black aeroplane the young pilot conquers his fear and successful reaches safety Imagine you are the pilot writing a letter to a friend about your experience overcoming fear. Share your thoughts and reflections in personal and engaging way. Answer Date Today's date Dear friend's name I had the most unforgettable experience yesterday. As you know I've always loved flying, but I faced a real test of my courage this time. My plane got caught in a storm, and I couldn't see anything around me. I was terrified, but somehow, I felt the presence of another plane guiding me through. I followed it, and before I knew it, I was safe on the ground. That experience taught me that sometimes, we just have to face our fears and keep going, even if we feel lost. Take care and write back soon. Best Your name Or As an, write a diary entry on the role of hope in your life during your time in hiding. How do you find hope in such difficult circumstances and what are your dreams for the future when the war is over? Answer Sample answer Date Today's date Dear Diary Today, I felt a strong surge of hope, even though life here is hard. I've learned that even in the darkest times, I must hold on to my dreams. Every day, I imagine a world without war, where we are free to walk outside without fear. I hope to become a writer one day, sharing stories of peace. This hope gives me strength, and I believe that one day, all this will be over. Until then, I'll keep dreaming of the freedom that lies ahead. Yours hopefully, Anne.